from increasing the quota of new two-room flats set aside for singles to a review of the studio apartment scheme. National Development Minister Corbyn Wan announced several new housing measures in Parliament today. Here's Olivia Xiong with this report. 46-year-old Mr. Lim Seo Po is getting ready to move into his new two-room flat in Bukit Panjang. He applied for the unit directly from the HDB under the single scheme last year. It took Mr. Lim two tries before he secured the unit. Over 18,000 singles have applied for a two-room flat since the single scheme began in 2013, but only half have had the chance to book a flat. To address the pent-up demand, Mr. Kaur said it will launch 4,000 two-room flats this year. It will also raise the quota for singles to 50%, starting from the next BTO exercise in May. Mr. Kaur also announced the review of the studio apartment scheme, which had been introduced in 1998 to allow seniors the option of a smaller flat with a 30-year lease. But now that the HDB also offers two-room flats with a 99-year lease, Mr. Kaur said the suggestion to allow varying leases for two-room flats could better align both schemes as well as cater to varying needs. Mr. Kaur also announced the HDB is studying whether more help can be given to those who want to buy a resale flat near their parents. He noted there are couples who have earlier moved away from their parents but would like to move back closer after having children or when their parents need more care. Mr. Kaur also responded to calls by some MPs to raise or even remove the qualifying income ceiling for new HDB flats. We increased it in 2011. I don't think we want to lift the ceiling completely because HDB flats are heavily subsidized and we should continue to target help at those who need help more. However, as income level rises, we must be prepared to adjust the ceiling. Anyway, I've noted the MP's call and I will mull over it. Mr. Kaur added that the government is keen to help Singaporeans living in rental flats become homeowners, like Madam Ko Lee Heng and her husband, who had been living in a rental flat since 1982. They recently moved into a brand new two room flat, which they can finally call their own. Mr. Kaur said the government is also looking at how we can help other rental tenants who have exhausted their housing privileges and no longer qualify for grants. Many wish they can turn back the clock, undo some of their bad decisions and be able to provide a better home for their kids. The question is how we can help such families without creating a moral hazard. Can we formulate a scheme which requires the family to make serious commitment towards their children, for example, and in return we provide a small flat with a shorter lease. The test is how to ensure that they do not end up losing the third flat and returning to apply for another public rental flat again. This requires careful thinking through. Mr. Kaur reiterated his ministry's commitment to not only provide good homes, but also to enable home ownership for Singaporeans.